Hello everyone, I am DCSK. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the ultimate guide to farm Gilded Frost Side in Instant Hunt. Also, the Gilded variants of Soul Side, Claymore, and Scale Mill. There are more ultimate guides on farming Gilded items, it is right down there. Make sure to check that out. Oh, hey, if you enjoy my content, consider to subscribe and hit the like button. It will help me a lot. If you did, I am very appreciated. Also, don't forget to join my Discord community. The link is down there at the description. Alright, the first thing you need to know is which rune to summon the instant mod that have a chance to drop this killed item. It is the A and 2 O rune to summon the instant first enchanter. Now you can start to farm the item that assigned with this rune. Just farm rare or common item is enough. You don't need to farm unique item for this rune. The drop rate is much lower and it takes more time to farm it. And there are many items that are signed with this rune. I have filtered it which anyway so you can find it much more easier and faster. Now here's the table. This table contains all the information that you need. All these are recommended items to farm. Those items that are not shown in this table is not recommended to farm. You can farm anywhere you like listed in this table. But the best map to farm is there's a temple. This mission drops everything you need. Very simple, very easy. Just farm repeatedly at this map. You only need 2 items to summon the instant first enchanter. If you want to go 9 maximum investment point, then you got to farm another bow. The bow also drop in there's a temper. Then you can go as high as 9 maximum investment point for the run. You don't need artifact in this combination, but if you get any of these 3 artifacts in the run, add another melee and range weapon, then you can go for 6 or 9 point run. But you gotta be careful. Some of the combination will summon another or more instant mob in the run. I did not list the rune that you can't use at the back of the table cause there is too many ways of combination. So you gotta try and error, okay? Alright, so to farm all these items faster, choose the difficulty that you can one shoot with your ranged weapon. If you unsure, then just select the easiest difficulty. If your power level is at 250, then Apocalypse plus 10 is a good choice. Then equip armor and artifact that increase movement speed, melee weapon with prospectors and chairman. It is not necessary to have this. If you have it, it is a bonus. So you can earn some emerald while farming item. And hub crossbow if you don't have hub crossbow, lightning hub or skater crossbow will do. With hub crossbow, you can kill much faster. You can also buy this item from merchant, check it out from time to time and restock if you have some emerald. If you see the specific item that you want, just buy from them. If you save you a lot of time and don't restock too many times, it will cost you a lot unless you are rich. So if you want to get rich and farm easy experience, you can check out my video. It is right up here or down there at the description. Make sure to check that out. It can help you to get rich and earn a lot of experience just by standing. Alright, once you have everything, equip the pass skill you have, then you can start the hunt now. I recommend you to go with 6 points is good enough. If you wish to go with 9 maximum points for even higher chance, yes, you can do that. If you are having trouble to go 9 maximum points, you can check out my video on AFK farm experience. It is a very simple guide and you can earn a lot of level just by standing. The link is up here or down there at the description. As for the difficulty, select based on your gear capability. And of course, the higher difficulty, the better item power level drop. In the hunt, just look for the purple glowing door to beat the instant first enchanter. This boss is super easy and his minion move very slow. So you don't have to worry about that. Just ignore his minion and rush to the boss to finish him. If you are worried about dying, then it is better to have potion barrier enchantment on your armor. Active everything you have then rush to them to kill like a boss. You can also one shot instant kill the boss by using torment quiver. Equip an item that can add soul. For me, I use soul bow with dynamo and chairman. And make sure to gather some soul before you enter the boss arena. Charge up at least one stack of dynamo. Active torment quiver. Oh wait. The boss is moving away. It is better to stand closer a little. Then charge shoot to finish the boss. Tada! And here's your gilded item. Pick it up and to the next door. And every time after you finish the instant hunt, it will refresh the pickling merchant stock. So make sure to check out the pickling merchant for new stock of gilded item. It might have something that you are looking for. If you see the gilded item that you want, just buy from him. It will save you a lot of time. Alright guys, I hope this ultimate guide can help you to farm gilded frost side and other gilded gears much faster. If you have any question or suggestion, you can leave a comment below. Or you can also find me and my discord community, everyone is welcome in. I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video. 
and before you leave make sure to hit the like and subscribe button it is free so happy hunting thanks for watching and see you in the next video